challenges in life that you will experience and really <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, girl. I think you could join me now because you know, I need help. <laughs> girl, I need help in introducing myself, you know. Kind of hard for me to speak in English. Anyway, um, I have someone with me now. Her name is MC De Leon. She has a um, YouTube channel as well. So, um, I'm going to link it down below. So, um, Miss MC De Leon, can you show yourself, please? Charot. <laughs> sure, you, sir. Girl. <laughs> My neck, my back, and my pussy is not ready for the EOP yet. <laughs> so anyway, for today's video, what we're gonna do is that we pick some questions from some of the international and local pageants, and then we'll be doing a Q and A. But the twist is, as you all know, we're not speaking in Tagalog <laughs> or in Filipino language. Meaning, this challenge includes. EOP, okay? Until the end of this video, we are not allowed to speak any Filipino words. There will be a consequences if we'll be the first person to speak a lot of um, Filipino words. So MC De Leon will be the one to take note of the ones who speaks a lot of um, Filipino words during these calls, okay? I hope you can understand me because I cannot understand myself right now. <laughs> I do feel the pressure. <laughs> I think my mental health after this video will be at 0%. 0% healthy. Now, I'm regretting that I started this kind of content. <laughs> We've already gathered some questions. And then, the questions are from Miss International, Miss Universe, Miss Earth, and then Binibining Filipina. What we're gonna do is we're going to select if um, what pageants are we going to pick the question. And then, um, yeah, it's up for us. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna explain anymore. I think you guys have some common sense. If you do not have any common sense, you can PM me and I will explain it to you. Or comment down below. I will explain it to you. I told you, MC, this is a bad idea. I did not even prepare a spiel on how to explain the mechanics, but yeah, I, I believe our audience has common sense. So you guys, if you want to understand what we're going to do in this video, you have to check out until the very end of this video, okay? At least you have fun Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god, god that's fun for you! <laughs> Just so you know guys, MC spoke one Tagalog. Uh, okay. I'm not expecting <laughs> it from you. I thought I'm gonna be the first one to speak Tagalog. <laughs> I think the most important advice that I would give to young ladies or young girls from our time now is to be strong and confident. There's a lot of challenges in life that you will experience and really? <laughs> <laughs> That's included. That's our content. <laughs> sorry. I got carried away. I got carried away. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, go on. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of challenges now that they would face and it would break their confidence and it would break their natural personality. But I would advise them to keep it real and be confident. That's it. Thank you. Mabuhay. <laughs> okay, that, that's too Tagalog actually. <laughs> hey, that's, <laughs> that's included. <laughs> Can you not? I'm from the Philippines. <laughs> no. The mechanics was pretty much clear before we started oh God, this video, remember? Two strikes. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn now. MC, can you like pick yes. an easy question for me now? Yes, yes, I would definitely pick <laughs> an yeah. easy question for you. Based from your voice, <laughs> I'm not trusting you. <laughs> from Bini Bini Filipinas. Okay, from Bini Bini. You know, I've been, I've been waiting for a Miss Universe question because, you know, <laughs> I already practiced a lot of Miss Universe questions and wow. so far, I was able to like, answer it. I'm ready for your question. Okay, I, think... I have this question and I'm kind of surprised that this is actually included on their questions. <laughs> if you're caught in a terrible, frustrating traffic, 
what are the best ways to make your time productive? Oh, I, I, I actually watched the Binipinas Binipin where that question has been asked to one candidate. Really? Yes, yeah. because I, I am really a fan of pageant. Even like nice. a local pageant or like, um, you know, um, local pageant in mm-hmm. some fiestas, I'm watching it. So if I were stuck in a very frustrating traffic, since I am a vlogger, uh, I have these raw files that I have um, in my phone. So what I'm going to do is to make myself um, more productive instead of, um, you know, stressing myself. So um, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to edit my videos during those traffic. As long as I am not the driver, because if I'm going to be <laughs> yeah. the driver, we're going to suffer in an accident. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to look for a better way to be more proactive once you know um, I'm spending time in the traffic. I think that's all. <laughs> less talk, less mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if I can answer those questions in one word, I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> oh my god. I need to um you know cool down my adrenaline. <laughs> From Miss Earth. So your question is, there are many people including some notable international leaders who still do not believe in climate change. How would you convince them about the seriousness of this problem? Again, thank you so much for that wonderful question and it's been nice to be on the stage for the second time. <laughs> for a different crowd. <laughs> climate change, yeah. Uh, for me, this is something that I personally wanted to convince a lot of people uh, to believe it. So, it's not really hard for them to believe now because as they can see, I would show them the, the facts that there are like a very drastic change when it comes to our weather. Well, drastic, big word. <laughs> big word. <laughs> as you can see now, it's May already and it should be raining. But now it's still hot. It still like feels like summer, which is very unusual. So the timing uh, or the the schedule of uh, our weather when it comes to like being a rainy weather or a sunny weather, uh, it's not like the same. It's very different now, and there's a lot of like uh, wildfires that are going on in Australia that cannot be explained. It's not a man-made fire. It's of course, uh, uh, a natural disaster. And um, another thing is that uh, the melting of the ice in North North Pole, South Pole, and that West Pole. pole. Char- <laughs> East Pole. <laughs> East Pole. <laughs> West Pole. At least you were able to answer two questions. I think you got my point. <laughs> yeah, I got your point. Again, our audience says, should have common sense. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, if we cannot understand, just PM. <laughs> PM me, PM us, and then we're going to explain. I think we should explain to them. We actually did not prepare anything from this content, you know? We just yeah. like, um, <laughs> Had a conversation and then decided to like oh my oh, god oh my god for so oh my god MC let let's do our videos and then here's the content here's the idea but you know we did not prepare <laughs> like the yes. whole de- the whole detailed um <laughs> portion of this video so if there's gonna be a mistake yes. <laughs> please do not judge us okay <laughs> so anyway yeah it's You're my turn next. now at least I don't I don't get to speak Tagalog yet. Oh, Miss International. Are you ready for your question? Yes, bitch. <laughs> How would you like to be known by your closest friends? Me personally, I actually don't want for me to explain myself. I would like um, my my friends to get to know me and to judge me. I cannot just say that I am a good person. I know myself, but I think other people's um, opinion and criticism is important. But I'm going to be asked if how would I like my friends to know me is that I am just a jolly person. I am this kind of person who wants to go with the flow from time to time and experience a lot of things, new challenges, and then learn from that things and challenges. And that would be all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is very stressful. <laughs> okay, it's your turn now. This is the last round. Oh, so your question Earth. will be coming from Miss Earth again. Oh my god, I think I will get this crown, Miss Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Here's your question. You need to get the Miss Universe. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Maybe at the end of the video, let's um, answer yeah. some few, few, few questions. Okay, anyway. So, yeah. your question is, what is the biggest enemy, enemies of Mother Earth? So, for me, the biggest enemies of, or enemy of Mother Earth would definitely be uh, people who doesn't have discipline. Because... <laughs> <laughs> because, as you know, uh, a lot of us ha doesn't have discipline and uh, we just threw away trashes, never take care of our environment, and uh, we don't have really any concern with uh, what's going Ooh. on in our... And I think that uh, we should start... I I'm not saying that we should be all immediately be sustainable and clean everything, be minimalist, not like that. But for me, I think that maybe steps would definitely count. Um, mm -hmm. Reducing the usage of plastics would definitely help and increase the uh, reusable uh, containers and the plastic bag should be removed and like the ones that we are doing now. But I hope that we keep this up until uh, that by the time that most of us or almost 90% of us are uh, practicing this. <laughs> oh my god, that's so hard. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's it. For the question and answer, I think um, MC was the winner, or I mean, it's the winner. But for the EOP, for the English I only policy, I think yeah, the, I'm you the winner. You are the winner. <laughs> but anyway, as, is, as instructed, the only person who will have their um, consequences is the one who speaks a lot of um, Tagalog. So meaning, you're the only one who has consequence. Yeah. Okay, so, so what is this consequence? <laughs> so um, first you have to choose whether it's um, truth or dare. For the sake of uh, being steady in this uh, screen, <laughs> I would say truth. <laughs> truth. <laughs> oh my god, I did not prepare any question. <laughs> Do you want the question to be more STG or... <laughs> Just a normal Annie. question. Oh, yes. so you are up to a challenge. <laughs> anyway, so you have a boyfriend right now, right? Yes. I need to be careful. <laughs> I don't want any threats in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your favorite position in bed? <laughs> oh, my favorite position in bed. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> You said you are up to any questions. Okay. I don't know what that is called, but it's carry me. Carry me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what, MC? There's a glitch in that question. You did not even ask me if, if it's um, if it's you know having sex or if it's just sleeping. But I assume that it's already <laughs> Because you have common sense, right? <laughs> I should have just commented down below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think this video is already long enough for me. So it's gonna be harder for yeah. me to edit this again. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching until the end of this video. <laughs> so um, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to like, comment, share, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. And click the notification down there so, if, um, so you'll be notified in case I have new upload. Oh my god! I was able to survive this video. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So please don't forget to follow MC DeLeon as well. So I'm gonna link um, her channel down below and her socials down below so you can check her out. Okay? So thank you so much again, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Wait, sabay tayo, girl. Sabay tayo. Okay. Para kunyari. One, two, three, go. One, wait! <laughs> Two, three, go!